Well, using that little tidbit as a launching off part, let's talk about the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. Amy Oliver Cook from the Independence Institute. I've seen you before. I like the work you do. You know what? And, and you made the mistake of hiring me. You, you made the mistake of taking the job. So <laughs> been there for 14 years. So at some point, <laughs> this dysfunctional relationship just keeps on going. Yeah, yeah. It's it's. It's consensual. It's consensual. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Using the word consensual, I'm telling you, Tabor haters, Taxpayer Bill of Rights haters, cannot stand that two-syllable word, consent. I mean, it, and when we talk about the Taxpayer Bill of Rights as consent, they really start losing it. Why? Well, because it, first of all, it's, it's amazing in this era of Me Too, hashtag Me Too, that the one place where they hate consent is when it comes to your pocketbook. Uh, you know what? It really puts uh, taxpayers, voters in charge. And there was a piece, I want to say, it, in like the Steamboat newspaper that was, that was absolutely perfect. It was sort of like, have you ever tried to explain things to these people? They don't get it. That's why they shouldn't be allowed to vote on it. They These shouldn't people have being a, taxpayers. Being taxpayers, right. So for whatever reason, In other we words, don't... Honey, you, you don't understand this. this. This is man talk. You don't, you don't, you don't need to worry about this. It's a little above this. your pay right. grade, so just pay the bill. Now, and you know what? The Taxpayer's Bill of Rights, it, it, it is the greatest gift that Colorado voters gave themselves and future generations, which is that right to decide how much government they want. Do you want to raise, you can raise taxes, you just have to ask first. You know, the, it's the idea, not that hard. The idea hard. That, that Bill Cosby and Harvey Weinstein are going to jail because they refuse to ask for consent, and we all agree, good, that's what it should be. But we've got a group of people who are using every legal trick in the book calling taxes fees, calling uh, debt certificates of participation to avoid asking for consent. For the very same reason Bill Cosby and Harvey Weinstein refused to ask, because they might say no. So we say, don't go Weinstein on us. Don't go Weinstein on us. <laughs> just, just ask. And it, it, you know, the, the other thing is um, the Taxpayer's Bill of Rights actually requires elected officials to be leaders. In other words, make your case. It, 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 without it, they can be lazy and just raise taxes or uh, put the state further into debt without making their case to voters. I mean, it is the greatest gift. One, if you're an elected official, it, it sort of separates the men from the boys. Who is the be who's best at making their case? And frankly, it's been at the local level. At yep. the local level, a level, elected officials are much better at making their case. To the raise state, taxes to raise, raise that. Yep, absolutely. And, and when you think about it, every time that state legislature raises our taxes or raises debt without our permission, whether they call it the faster fee or the hospital provider fee, which is a bed tax when you're sick, uh, or the mill levy freeze or the growth dividend or all these other little tricks, what they're saying is, if I ask for consent, they're going to say no. So how do I do it otherwise? Under Tabor, you can grow government as large as you like. You just have to get consent. Why are they scared of consent? I mean, help me understand from your point of view why it is that every Tabor phobe in Colorado, every Tabor hater, uh, really when it comes down to, they believe people will make the wrong decision. And so we can't ask them. Well, first of all, you'd have to talk to them first. It's, it's a, sort of a psychosis to me. I mean, there's some kind of there's some kind of Tabor phobia that asking somebody uh, is that I'm not going to get the answer I want. So therefore, I don't want to ask. It makes Tabor the problem. The ta it makes our taxpayers' bill of rights the problem instead of them a problem. So whoa, whoa, say that again because that's brilliant, uh, and I've never heard you say that before. It makes the Taxpayer Bill of Rights a problem and not the actual elected officials. How do you mean that? Right. So, so in other words, they're lousy at making a case. To, so they, to raise their, their to taxes. Raise, so they want to raise taxes or they want to increase debt. And it fails. So therefore, it's the Taxpayer's Bill of Rights that's the problem, rather than taking a, a, a good look in the mirror and saying, 
maybe it's a you thing. Maybe, maybe, maybe you're the problem. Maybe hey, your idea is the problem. How do you answer this one? Because I hear it a lot. When they go to destroy Tabor, you know, outright, and they say, no, we're going to change the formula. That is, you know, if, if government grows more than population and inflation, if they want to keep all that extra money, all they have to do is ask. Uh, almost every city has asked. The state, when they ask, well, we've often said no. Sometimes we say yes. Uh, but when they say, no, we're going to change the formula or we're going to take away this part of it, and we're really doing it within the spirit of Tabor, because the Tabor says well, you need to ask, that's all we're doing. We're asking them if we can lower the standard of consent. What's wrong with that? Well, <laughs> because really what it's about is getting rid of our taxpayers' bill of rights altogether. Changing the formula or certificates of participation or, uh, you know, a, a tax is now a fee and that's okay. All of that is part of chipping away, like I said earlier, the single greatest gift voters ever gave themselves in future generations, which is control of their government. That's it. it, the whole it thing, no matter what the reform is, no, do, whatever no, the reform is, it comes down to one thing, which right. is we get to ask for consent less or not at all. That is a reform that they want. That's the well, only reform so, they want. The so, taxpayer bill so they all. So I, I think it's Mike Johnston and Kerry Kennedy have both have both said they're we're going to reform the taxpayers' bill of rights. All I can say to voters on that is run away from that, run like hell, because what they're going to do is take your right to say yes or no. Imagine if Harvey Weinstein didn't have to get consent didn't actually have to ask. But there wasn't a law that said he had to <laughs> right, do it. Right, right, right. Every woman would be running away from him like mad. So it's the same thing. I don't understand the phobia. There is truly, it's some kind of psychosis. I don't know what it is, but there is a phobia against asking Consent. for permission. How funny Period. it is that Carrie Kennedy will stand up so well for the hashtag Me Too movement, which she should, but when it's hashtag Me Too on fiscal issues, it's not you. Hashtag, but not you. Hashtag me too taxpayer right. is, that one is left out. Consent Convenient. there doesn't yeah. work. No. All right, so Justin Longo at the Independence Institute decided to go out and, and talk to some folks on the street because I think there are so many people who have moved here since 25 years ago. They hear the propaganda that Tabor is this Gordian knot, I always love that one, that, that takes away their choice. Uh, I tell you what, let's take a quick look. Here's, here's, a, here's a few people taking a look at the Taxpayer Bill of Rights. What, what do you think of a law that would require politicians to ask voters first before they raise taxes and debt? And they would ask voters about to take more of their money by putting something on the ballot that said, hey, we need to raise some taxes, we're going to take some more of your money, but it's for these things. You get a, a vote yes or no on it. What do you think that, about that kind of law? I'm all for that. I think that, you know, voters should at least get an idea of what they're um, paying for and at least get to prepare for more money to be taken. That seems like a great law. <laughs> you asked to borrow things. It's, does it seem like consent? Yeah. So, so, so do you like consent? So do you like consent? She, she seemed to like consent. Yeah, she said it's a great law. You, all you have to do is ask. Listen. They love to overcomplicate. Tabor haters love to overcomplicate it. We're going to change the formula. We're going to do this. It's very simple. It's not complicated at all. You can grow government at whatever rate you want. You just have to ask. And if voters say no, that's on the person doing the asking, not on the taxpayer's bill of rights. All right. So you're putting together a little publicity effort, I would call it, bringing together people who know about Tabor love the Taxpayer Bill of Rights and say, wait, wait, this, this whole culture we see of, of Tabor fear, that's made up. You call it Tabor Yes. What is Tabor Yes? Tabor Yes is, is actually a significant coalition. A um, bunch of us came together after seeing this uh, concerted effort on the part of people who hate our Taxpayer's Bill of Rights uh, to chip away at it. And now you have Democrat candidates running against the Taxpayers' Bill of Rights. We decided we were not only going to strengthen it, but advance it. And especially for the newcomers, you know, we often talk, okay, so avoid I-70 on Sundays. You should know that. Uh, we're Coloradans. We're not Coloradoans. Um, 
you should also know that there's something called the Taxpayer's Bill of Rights, and it's likely one of the reasons, you may not know it, but it's likely one of the reasons why you came here. You came for the mountains and the microbrew, you stayed for the job and the economic opportunity. You can thank the Taxpayer's Bill of Rights for that. And there is a significant sized coalition of organizations that have signed on to this, as well as individuals. So, Don, give me some of these organizations, because these sound like bad organizations. Yeah, they're, they sound like organizations that want to rip away consent. <laughs> Independent Women's Forum, Independence Institute, Tabor Foundation, the uh, Colorado Union of Taxpayers, uh, the Steamboat Institute, the uh, Americans for Prosperity Foundation. Um, th there, there are um, AmeriChicks. There's there are probably, I don't know, 15, 20 different organizations and hundreds of, of individuals who have signed on to this Tabor Yes Coalition to, to well, there's a, there's save. There's a pledge yep. at this website too. What, what is it that you're asking people to pledge to, particularly elected officials? To hold elected officials accountable that those that try to circumvent the taxpayer's bill of rights, not just legally, but also in the spirit of it, with things like certificates of participation or calling taxes, fees, all of that. These people, these groups have pledged to hold accountable any elected official that violates the Taxpayers' Bill of Rights, our Taxpayers' Bill of Rights, both in um, legally and in spirit. We've got an election going on. It would be a wonderful thing if people printed out your pledge and brought it to the next town hall where, or, or debate and say, tell me how you feel about Tabor because, for instance, our Senate president on his website says he's going to, he's going to protect the word and spirit of Tabor and not do any of those fees and then turns around and does the grand betrayal of, of Senate Bill 267, raising our taxes $600 million a year without a vote. Uh, it would be good to get them on, on, on the record. Where do they go to get this? TaborYes.com. Very easy. As simple as the Taxpayers' Bill of Rights, the website, the web addresses as well. TaborYes.com. Also, local elected officials, too. Make sure you hold them accountable. Last word on consent. We're, we're, we're pro, we're against. We're... <laughs> if consent, let's put it this way. Consent is good. Weinstein is bad. Tabor is good. good. Amy, thank you. Check out the Independence Institute. Go to thinkfreedom.org. Listen for me on KL Radio, and we'll see you next week.